So before we get this video started, I want to just thank everyone for being so patient with me. I know I've been getting a lot of questions about different accessories for the actual Magic Keyboard and how they work and will some of the old accessories work with the Magic Keyboard that work with the Smart Keyboard Folio. Please continue to be patient with me. I'm still gathering things. There will be a video coming next week on the devices that you guys are asking for and hopefully you guys will enjoy that video just as much as you will enjoy this one so with that being said let's jump right into this video what's up guys average tech guy here and today we are back with more tech more reviews and this time we're going to be looking at the magic keyboard which i have over here for the ipad 12.9 2020 and the smart keyboard folio for the same device and we wanna see which one is for you. So let's check these things out. So we all know what these two devices are and we know exactly what they are capable of. On my left over here is the Smart Keyboard Folio, which I have used for the past I don't know, two years almost with my iPad Pro 11. And then I actually pick one up for the purpose of this video in comparison, just to show you guys which one is gonna be for you. And then over here, the brand new Magic Keyboard with this beautiful keyboard display with this trackpad. Uh, can't say enough about it. It's a, it's a very elegant device and it's pricey. Now, what are the differences in these two devices? Well, first off, if you can see the iPad is over here on the smart keyboard folio, because without the iPad, the smart keyboard folio will not stand on its own. And so we see that a magic keyboard will actually stand up on its own because it has the hinging mechanism on the bottom, as well as the hinging mechanism on the middle portion so that the iPad can tilt to these different positions. Next thing is the actual price. Now for the smart keyboard folio, you're gonna shell out about 200 bucks for that one, for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, and for the Magic Keyboard, wait for it, wait for it, you're gonna pay almost 400 bucks. So it's 350, but with tax, it's almost 400 bucks. So over here on the right, 400, over here, a little bit over 200. Now what are the major differences in these two devices? Well, I can tell you for one, using the smart keyboard folio is, is very familiar to me because I used it with my 11 for so long and the keys feel really good when you're typing. The ability to fold this thing down is very smooth. It has two separate angles that you can use. And then when you are actually wanting to put it up from a keyboard mode, you just fold it back and you use it as a tablet mode. Now, if you look at these devices, both of them are basically made out of that same material. Uh, it's that uh, kind of silicone-y, plasticky uh, material. And they both have the microfiber lining on the inside to protect your iPad. These both do not need to be charged. Uh, they connect through the three pin connector in the back. They latch right onto the iPad itself and they do the charging. They do the power from the iPad. And the only difference is now you're gonna be able to charge your iPad through the Magic Keyboard versus just charging it with a regular USB type C on the Smart Keyboard Folio. Smart Keyboard Folio comes in a little bit over 14 ounces, which is not heavy at all, but the Magic Keyboard comes in a little bit over a pound, uh, almost at a pound and a half. So uh, you can kind of factor the weight in to when you're carrying this device. But even though it's at that pound and a half mark, it still does not really make that big of a difference. Biggest difference in the keyboard is the keys on the smart keyboard folio are basically meshed together. There's no separation in between them. And if you listen to the sound, they sound a little bit more quiet. than the magic keyboard, which sounds like this. Now with the magic keyboard, you do get that backlight. So that's a big change, a big difference. And you're paying that extra premium price for that backlight, that trackpad, and the actual hinging and floating mechanism that you get with this. Now, one of the biggest differences in these devices is the smart keyboard folio only gives you basically two angles. 
you're going to get the 90 degree angle and then you get the slanted angle for typing and things of that nature. And then on the Magic Keyboard, you're going to get tons of different angles because this bar actually holds at certain degrees and you'll be able to kind of tailor this to however you are sitting. That's one of the big pluses. So when it comes down to it, I mean, pound for pound, these are both great devices. Now I know with my smart keyboard folio, after using the uh, Magic Keyboard, I kind of found myself while using the smart keyboard to reach more for my trackpad, needing that a little more often than the actual pencil itself. Now I've kind of gotten away from using the pencil with the Magic Keyboard because I do everything from this trackpad right now. And someone asked me, is the pencil now obsolete? Well, of course the pencil is never obsolete because if you like to take notes, if you like to mark up devices, if you like to do any type of drawing, that pencil is still there to capture all the needs for your screen. So no, pencil is not obsolete just because you now have the trackpad over here. So what's my full take? Which one is going to be the one for me? Well, after using the Magic Keyboard for some time now, I've used this one forever because I had the 11, I had the Smart Keyboard Folio, used it forever. It's a great device. I love it. But after having the Magic Keyboard, I don't think I can go back to the Smart Keyboard Folio. The Magic Keyboard sits up in your lap really nice. There's no, there's not a whole lot of tilting. Every now and then you get a tilt and rock motion when you change your position. But for the most part of it, it stays pretty steady in your lap. And the fact that you get these multiple viewing angles and it just stays there, big plus for me. Now, you've heard my gripes on what they should have done better with the keyboard. I'm not going to go into that, but I will say that this thing is a solidly built device. It's it's well worth the amount of money that you're paying for it. And we know that Apple's devices do tend to get on the little more expensive side, but this is one that you can probably actually justify. So with that being said, the Magic Keyboard is basically going to be the one that I will be using. So you guys let me know which one you like the best. Uh, smart Keyboard Folio, Magic Keyboard. Now, of course, I know price is a factor in anything that we go out and purchase. And everybody's not going to go out and get the biggest, baddest thing that Apple has. Some people will go out and buy this. And there's no reason that either one of these can't be the best device for you. It's just up to your personal flair, your personal flavor, and what you like in a keyboard case. Um, I'm gonna be sticking with the Magic Keyboard. That's my option. And you guys let me know what you like down below. Leave that comment and let me know. Keyboard Folio, Magic Keyboard. Until next time, hopefully this is able to help someone out. Please be sure and give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.